in uh, a cafe around the corner from here in, in Bridge Street. And if Audrienne or anyone else would help me with the chorus. I, you know I will. <laughs> trying to shut me up. <laughs> Very difficult. Try to stop. <laughs> Tonight we are all Jamettes. <laughs> my wife. Excuse me. I gave her my espresso and I took a cappuccino. I got them the wrong way round. <laughs> Thank you. You're getting things mixed up, she said. I think it must be a rage. Your mind seems to wander all over the place. And it's not just a phase. Because I got them the wrong way round. I got them the wrong way round. I got them the wrong way round. Yes, you did. You see. You see, well, I wasn't too worried by what she said, and I did not take offense. Because then she smiled and touched my hand. This kind of changed the sense. You see, we all grow. Yeah. Some things we can do. That's true. Sometimes we forget. Mm -hmm. We can be <coughs> absent minded. <laughs> I got, got them, them the wrong, wrong way round. I got, got them, them the wrong way round. I got them, them the wrong way round. Yeah, you see, you see, and it really doesn't matter that much. Other things count more. And even if the window shuts, there opens up a door. Yeah. And this is what I wish. When she smiled and touched my hand As we sat in the cafe the other night With the coffins the wrong way Got them the wrong way around I'm oh, sorry, I got them the wrong way around yeah. I got them the wrong way around I got them the wrong way around I'm sorry, Jenny. Do you see? Do you see? <laughs> Back likes the song. Yeah. So do I. Yeah. So do me. Me too. It's a blues. <coughs> yeah. Okay. Ever the way I look at blues, and they're expressions of deep sadness. Or I feel that you get yourself out of them by singing. Mm -hmm. You can sing them out your soul, mm -hmm. sing them out yourself, mm -hmm. so you get it out your system. Yeah. You just sing all that, ooh, misery, down in the dumps. Yeah. By the time you finish the song, your mood has changed completely. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
month it is, but I'm just between quarter past and twenty-five. Depends how we are. Enjoy yourself. Talk away. <laughs> <laughs> Wendy, I'm, I'm doing some videoing. Don't know if you can help out. And also, if I can get a chair. There's too many heads in the way. Where were you? I was there. Well, I'll sit there with this one if you want. I'll sit. Well, if, if I had a stool for your guitar. Yeah, well, you can sit there and I'll put the stool next to Susan. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. Both of them vaguely sung it during the first one called My Best Friend's Husband. Oh, that's good. <laughs> My best friend's husband left her in the poor girl. Shh! Wait, hold on! Quiet at the back, please! Shh. Give it a break, will you, at the back there, please? Shut up, I'm saying yeah. nothing. <laughs> Sobbed and cried hysterically and almost broke my heart. She started phoning nightly to talk her troubles out. How her confidence had left her, now her future was in doubt. And my husband and I worried. Said all she had to do was call. 
We would always be there for her if she needed help at all. Mm -hmm. We talked to her most evenings, went to see her when we could, took her and the kids on holiday, which seemed to do her good. She said there was no way she could have made it through this time without our help and understanding we were both so very kind. Now, her husband had another woman, but as a Catholic girl, of course, there really was no question there could ever be a divorce. Sure. Adultery was the only sin that she never would forgive. She was adamant. She never would, however long she lived. But then a miracle in Hounslow. <laughs> True love came her way at last. And she forgave him all those heinous sins he committed in the past. Not only that, her perfect lover had been right there at her door, and she knew I'd understand, because I always had before. So there's something that, sorry, and I murmured all the right things until it came home to me that her newfound new found perfect partner was in fact married to me. <laughs> so there's something that I didn't know then that I'm really sure of now. Never trust someone who thinks that they are holier than thou. And the moral of this story to those of you that are wed is if your best friend's husband leaves them, don't give them yours instead. one is very connected. Very, very connected. That was a very old one. This is a very new one. And it's based on a conversation I had with Mac and Doris the other night over a cup of tea, and they told me to write this. Another true story. I'm truly very sorry now I did it. I suppose I really should have thought it through. Although, in truth, I did have provocation, on reflection, there were safer things to do. I wish I'd cleaned the toilet with his toothbrush. <laughs> <laughs> or cut his favorite furniture in half. <laughs> Used cat food and pretended it was fish paste. <laughs> <laughs> or gouged his face from every photograph. <laughs> Chopped his shirts and suits to little ribbons. Or thrown his damn computer down the stairs. <laughs> Rubbed his underwear with itching powder. <laughs> Each time he had one more of his affairs. <clears throat> But I didn't. I just put my thoughts on paper and sang my vulgar songs and spouted silly verse and explained when people thought that I was joking that he really wasn't that bad. He was worse. But how was I to know that someone taped me and then sent it in next day to GLR and they'd play it on their early morning chat show while my husband listened to it in his car. <laughs> he was not impressed and grabbed his phone to call me. I think the word he had in mind was bitch. He could have had a lot of things to call me if he hadn't rolled his car into a ditch. <laughs> he sent me the repair bill from the garage on the grounds that it was my fault that he'd swerved, which I returned unpaid with a note that said politely, in my opinion, poetic justice had been served. <laughs> Life goes on forever. Anyway, uh, I'd like to introduce uh, Jess now, who's down here a few months ago. Fantastic guitarist. Put your hands together for Jess. Yeah. Someone has to. Anyway, uh, this is just a, a little piece that I wrote. I'll just. Stop it.